Spirits are high here in Baton Rouge during homecoming week, and as is tradition, we get to beat up on an inferior team. This year, it's the Troy Trojans. I've never understood the joy of humiliating another team on homecoming week. That's why I'm sitting down with Troy's number one football fan to see what they have to say about it. So, I sat down and got to work, but finding Troy's number one fan was harder than I thought. Hi, my name is Andrew Landry, um, and I'm working with Tiger TV. I'm looking for Troy's number one fan for a possible interview. Uh, is there any way you can connect me to one? Yes, I'll hold. No luck, huh? Okay, well, um, is there anyone uh, you might work with that's a, you know, Troy fan? What do you mean you're a Bama fan? You go to Troy. Yes, I'll hold. No, I'm not aware of any LSU-Mississippi State game that occurred this year. Uh, hey, so why does everyone keep asking me that? No, your women's basketball coach doesn't count. Okay, buddy. You know what? You can take your Achilles heel and shove it up your- Yes, I'll hold. Not one fan. You're telling me you don't have one fan that I could possibly interview. My search for a Troy fan was beginning to look grim. <sighs> but I had one last trick up my sleeve. So I've ingeniously come up with a plan to catch a Troy fan of our own. Let's take a look at what I got. Jim Beam Whiskey. Notice that it's already opened, and this is actually very key to catching any Alabamian. You see, when they say they want aged whiskey, it just means that they want a whiskey that's been sitting out on the coffee table for about three or four days. Very key concept, you know, common misconception for a lot of Alabamians. Okay, so, and we have uh, Red Seal Natural. I'm gonna take a look at that. This is very, very disgusting dip. Alabamians thrive on it. They love it, mainly because uh, it's absolutely disgusting. And any flavor that's considered disgusting is right up Alabamians' alley. Let's take a look at what the last thing I have. Uh, and this will definitely reel in Trojan fans, I believe, because it is Trojans. Because, I mean, who doesn't like their own team's memorabilia? So with this, I think we might be able to catch a Troy fan for ourselves. The trap was finally set, so all I had to do was wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. Oh, who am I kidding? This is a stupid idea. There's no way we're going to be able to catch a Troy fan like this. What a stupid idea. Alabamians don't even use contraceptives. It was all just a waste of time. But then, a miracle happened. Dude, are you a Troy fan? Uh, if I say yes, can I have some of this whiskey? Yes, yes you can. Well, I guess I'm a Troy fan. <laughs> we did it, Tiger TV! A Troy fan in the flesh, look at him, oh man. This puts a huge weight off my shoulders, you have no idea. I didn't think any of you guys existed in such good condition. Oh man. <laughs> With Tiger TV Entertainment, I'm Andrew Landry. <laughs> Found a Troy fan, oh man. Troy fans smell really bad. <laughs>